Okay, so it's the 11th of me today. There we go. No Vortex magazine this time. Okay, I think this is the first one I've ever been sent without a Vortex magazine. Which I don't care about anyway, so yeah. But this is the Second Doctor Adventures Volume 3. Now, the interesting thing with uh, the Second Doctor Adventures is basically the first series and the second series kind of... Uh, were basically treated as just like regular adventures rather than companion chronicles however this goes back to basically being companion chronicles without being called them in fact they even refer to it as that which is just like i thought the whole point of these box sets were that they were meant to be just like regular full cast audio dramas and then have the companion chronicles you know be a separate thing so yeah um but hey ho, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to get this so it doesn't reflect the light. So, we have The Death of the Daleks, which, my god, how many, how many versions are we going to get of that title? We've got, we've obviously got the original Death to the Daleks, then uh, we've got the Bernie Summerfield Death of the Daleks and then this one is the death of the Daleks it's just like okay that title so yeah uh, you can see the Dalek here and uh, it's it's I don't know it's alright yeah I'd say probably um, my favourite story out of this box set is the Phantom Piper which basically delves into a lot of Jamie's uh, backstory in this through through the power of flashbacks which yeah um, the Prince of Denmark is an intro is a bit of a fun one with uh, the Megling Monk and uh, and then the final story the deepest tragedy um, Oh yes, now I remember the final story. The final story does have an interesting premise in that. It's not a bad box set, it's not a bad box set, but there's... I'd say in this box set, you know, there's not really a kind of standout story in this. I get that feeling a lot with big finishes now, where... Because of their sheer volume, and because of the amounts that they have to get out, you know... A lot of them feel less special than they were, like the... You know, I can't really say, oh, this is definitely a standout classic uh, kind of thing. I haven't really felt that in a while uh, with a big finish. But uh, I still enjoy them. They're still a good box set. So, yeah, there, there we go. Okay, so it's the 19th of May. And uh, I've got a fairly large box in front of me, which I can't show you because uh, this person has written my dress on one side, their address on the other, and then then repeated that on every single side but uh, this is just something I saw and I thought eh, I'll put a, it's one of those things where I was like I'll put a bid in see if I win and I was the only person bidding on it even though there was other ones on eBay for much more but uh, yeah they packaged it well There goes the other. So here he is, it's a product enterprise, Genesis Dalek, which uh, I will wipe over with some antibacterial wipes, not only to clean him but to disinfect him. But yeah, this cost me £25 plus a fiver postage. So yeah, and he also. Has a remote in here somewhere. There we go, and it even has a sticker on the back. This feels a bit, a little bit weirdy. I wonder if there's a battery in there. I wonder. Um. 
you know what, I'll get a screwdriver out and let's see if there's a battery in there. Okay, so there is a battery in there and it's a brand that I've never seen before. But yeah, I could tell by how much more weighty it was. It's a 27 megahertz remorse. Ooh, this guy does need a cleaning out. He also just noticed on the dome could do with a magic eraser as well. But uh, while I have him, while I have him like that, uh, let's uh, put some batteries in and see if he actually does work. Because uh, the seller said that they didn't didn't know they were they had no idea whether he worked or not. So it's just like well. Yeah, I'll put some batteries in. I'm hoping I've got enough here. Because uh, the other day, the other day I filmed uh, the reviews for the um, was it the yeah the other radio controlled guides that Hank reviewed. So yeah, I'm just hoping I've got enough here just to get him up and running. Another battery here. Again, it, it just. I don't know if these batteries even work or not. I'm assuming I mean, some of them not because some of them say best before. For God knows when. But. You know. But we'll see. We'll see. Because this thing takes six bloody double A batteries. Six double A batteries, he's an expensive bugger to run. I know this nine volt works. But in terms of the batteries that I've just put in him, I don't know if all of them actually do work. See, so switch on, yeah. I'll put some different batteries in him. Alright, so I've sacrificed the remotes batteries out of my out of my hi-fi remote so let's see if it works I don't even know if he's the right frequency I honestly can't remember uh, I've got another one over there so I have no idea but he might just be broken he might just be broken because he is showing zero signs of life So yeah, he might just be knackered. That is a strong possibility that he is just knackered. Yeah, I think I think he is just completely knackered. Oh well. Oh, uh, I got a more as a display piece anyway. He might be fixed. Well, I don't know. I'll have to. <laughs> I'll have to take a proper look at him later on, just to determine whether he is, you know, fixable and that. Maybe he's got a corroded contact somewhere along the line. I don't know. But again, I got him mainly just for display purposes. Maybe this. Maybe the seller gave me the wrong remote. Maybe he's a 40 megahertz one. I don't know. I can't um, remember off the top of my head whether he's a 40 megahertz one or 27 but uh, I will be able to easily check because I can check my own videos actually I'll check my own videos to see which one he is because that'll make things a heck of a lot easier but yeah the fact he doesn't even want to speak yeah he doesn't even want, want to speak at all because I'm, I'm quite used to ones that um, when the motor dies in them. Yeah, this one. Mm. Also, again, I'm I sound like shit because I I feel a bit like shit. Yeah, I'm full of cold or possibly hay fever or whatever. But yeah, and, uh, yeah, he's in pretty good condition. And again, I mainly stop for display purposes. So yeah. Okay, so it's the 25th of May today. I've got a package here. This is an invoice. Okay, so, so oh. We've wrapped it in a plastic wallet. Uh, 
Hey, is this is in not bad condition actually, this is in pretty good nick. So, uh, this is the very first ever big finish, which is a Bernie Summerfield adventure. I've actually listened to this because uh, at one point Big Finish um, had this as one of their freebies um, I think it was during lockdown or something but uh, I have listened to it it's not bad especially for the first Big Finish but uh, yeah um, this was a uh, 6 99 on eBay which with free delivery which not a bad price for it but yeah I got I got this mainly because you know one it's not a bad story but uh, also because, obviously, you know, it is the first ever Big Finish release. For those who don't know, uh, Big Finish, you know, didn't get uh, the full Got 2 license, the proper Got 2 license initially. What they got initially was uh, basically the Bernie Summerfield license to do them as basically a way to prove to the BBC that, yes, they can do, you know, Professional proper audio uh, dramas. It's signs three and four. Signs one and two. And the cassette itself is in also really good condition as well. So, yeah, overall, uh, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. So, yeah, not nothing, nothing really else uh, to say on it, but uh, yay. Alright, so it's the 28th of May. And normally uh, I don't uh, show, like, if I've already done a review on something, I don't show generally when I buy multiple ones of them because it's not that interesting. But I thought I'd show this because, yeah, I finally found a B&M, a local one to me, or semi-local, that uh, had this in stock. And, uh it took so long for uh, B&M and my local area to get one that they were reduced already to 9.99 the same as the other ones so yeah this cost me a tenner but uh, yeah and also my theory about these was pretty much confirmed because the B&M I got this from doesn't get Doc 2 stuff in very often it doesn't but something it didn't have this was a new delivery of them, and I could tell that because literally uh, they had a box of them. Literally, it, it wasn't even on the shelf, it was like in the aisle. There was a box of them that was sealed, and then there was a box on top that was just open with them stacked upon it. And that's one of the ones I got here. This one I won't be opening, I'll just be keeping uh, this one sealed. But uh, yeah, they didn't have any other Doc 2 stuff, just this. And that's basically the problem with this thing, why a lot of B&Ms haven't got this in yet. The reason is, is because this has the exact same product code as the other one, the other four pack. And what uh, seems to pile up in a load of B&Ms, the older four pack. So, you know, on the B&M system, you know, if the, if the store is showing that they've got a load of the the older ones, you know, in stock, then they're not going to be ordering any more, more. so, yeah, that that's basically why, that is the problem. Now, obviously, character options figures, a lot of the time, for example, TARDIS X or Dark Sex, a lot of the time it's not uncommon for them to s share the same product code, however, normally, one, they sell better than these generally have, but two, uh, the other thing is, is that the release schedule is because these were released not too long after the first lot came out. So, yeah, whereas the B&M ones are generally, if not a year apart, you know, or at least, at least a lot of the time a year, they're a year apart, or if they're in the same release cycle, then generally it's ones that they know are going to sell out, or they'll just change the product codes for that one so yeah it, it is a shame uh in regards to that but uh yeah that there we go with that so uh yeah not, nothing really else to say so all i can say is you know if you want if go to a b&m where they either don't have where they don't have any stock of the older four packs 
of these if you want one. Or uh, go to a and m that maybe doesn't get Dr. Seuss stuff very often. They might get those in. So, yeah, because I imagine at the minute a lot of them are just going to be sitting in the warehouse. Because there isn't the demand in that for them, which is just the way things are, unfortunately. So, yeah, but, um... There, there we go. There, there we go. Uh, obviously, there's a slight regret in me buying uh, that one off eBay. Although, to be honest, to be fair to myself, I only paid a five or more uh, than I would at retail price, and that would have basically covered post gigs costs and that. So I didn't really feel ripped off with that one. And so, yeah. And now I've got another one that I can just uh, keep sealed. So, yeah. But there we go. There we go and uh, if I remember I'll put the if I remember I'll put them in a download to this video as well a link to download them because again these are expensive buggers to, to get and so yeah but there's that there, there we go we can have a look at the uh, booklet itself not much in this one just got a, a load of text I will probably never ever read. But uh, yeah, that was, that was even though that was an expensive one, and it was. Here's a what more expensive one, uh, at least for a CD. But yeah, good to have it in the collection. And also something I've mentioned before is uh, CDs nowadays. Nowadays, for the most part, there are exceptions to this. But CDs now are, one, obviously the cheapest way generally to get a physical copy, you know, of any album. With a few exceptions, sometimes uh, the cassette can be cheaper, but not always. But it is definitely the cheapest way if you want a digital copy of an album. Uh, because if you have a disk drive, in your, you know, for your PC, then you can rip it to MP3 or or even an uncompressed WAV file and that is generally it, I've never found a case where it's cheaper get getting unless it's an out of print CD I've never found a case where it's cheaper to buy a digital mp3 of it so yeah and a lot of these like for example you know I'm not sure about this one but uh, these two these two definitely like you will not find them on a streaming service um, I this one I you can't even buy digitally. This one I'm not sure. Uh, this one you can buy digitally. I know you can because uh, I've seen it. But to buy this digitally was still less than I paid for the CD. So uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. We're all in and max on that. So yeah, all caught up and up to date. All right, I think it's the nineteenth of April. This is clearly a, a big finish release. I think I know what this will be. Yep. So this is Doctor uh, Doctor of War Genesis, which is uh, the latest Unbound uh, one. I've pre-ordered both of these. Um, I haven't had a chance to actually listen to it yet, so I can't really comment on it. But you know, there it is. It's nice. It's enough, I guess. Um, the, the, the only thing, you know, I'm not a big fan of the box sets now is that um, generally with most of the box sets now, you, you know, it's been happening for years and I've mentioned it before. Ooh, slightly open there. Yeah, slight bit of something open there around Tom Baker. Um, but the only thing about it is you know I do miss the individual artwork on them, yeah. But it's just a it's just a way to cut costs, I guess. You know, it's just a way to cut costs, unfortunately. But um, yeah. And I also don't tend to buy. Again, I don't buy the individual CDs generally. You know, I only tend to buy the box sets of CDs and. Yeah, um, not really much. Not really much else to see. Anyway, again, I'm not. I don't open these um, the boxes generally because I've got no need to. I've got the digital copy. 
as well. The reason I keep these and buy these is that if I ever needed to sell any of my Doctor Who collection, I sell these because again, I'll still have you know a digital copy and these all brand new sealed. So yeah, but uh, there you go. And also a lot of the time you find people selling the you know their physical copies on eBay because they they buy it they obviously have the digital copy and then they can sell the physical copy to basically offset it so a lot of the time you can get uh, some decent deals so yeah